Bayern. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Surrender. and Let go of the past. This is a great card. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up uh, 46, NASDAQ down 16, S&P's off 2.5. Gold, gold contract up $12.60, traded at 1950 an ounce. You get silver up 8 cents, $22.37 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 27. $78.44 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, flat, 107.13. The 30-year down six ticks at 113.06 in King Dollar. King Dollar is trading down 213 ticks at 105.648. Euros at 107. The yen's trading at 151 British pounds at 122 to 1 U.S. dollar. We get our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, Friday you had a big day. You took the B point out. You took it out with volume inside the SPY. You're trading 440. You got a 462 A to B equals C to D, folks, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty bizarre, but the bottom line is that's what it is, and your all-time high out here is the 479. So the next stop is 462. We go into the Qs, NDX 100, same type of setup. You get another ABC structure up on the, on the Qs. What you have with the Qs, the Qs are trading at 377. That's a 402.42. You can see it blew it away, blew it away with volume. You had the wide price spread. You had the accelerated volume. What we did out here today is that uh, bottom line is that you, we go back over to the, uh, well, the Qs rejected 375.24. It's a small day in the Qs. SPY is a little bit different, man. The SPY, you know, was down, we were down about 19, 20 points, I believe. Um, yeah, you rejected uh, 438, and we're at, uh... oh, no, no, I see what's going on. Yeah, well, that's because that's I'm trading pre-market, folks. Okay, the futures were down that. So, ES, let's bring that up, okay. I just brought up the SPY, and, of course, the SPY wasn't the same as the futures. So when you bring the futures up, we were down at 4407, and right now you're at 4429. Gets down there, rejects lower price, and what you have here, you know, it's just slowly making it over, you know, this consolidation. And this is a tough consolidation right here, man. It's going to take a lot to get it over it, but the bottom line, it's, it's going for it. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market, and this is what's going to help it. Bottom line is you're back down in the 10-year and the 30-year. You rejected lower price, and you can see the differential in the volume out here today in a monster way in the note and bond market. So what you have out here, you have the 10-year uh, bottom line. We got down to the 107. You rejected it. You're at 107.12. And if you want to hear a stat, folks, this is like a crazy stat. Listen to this, man. I was doing this last night. Okay. So everyone's worrying about people buying our bonds, right? Well, check this out, man. We paid October 1st, for October, we paid $88.9 in interest on our debt, right? Now, that's 87% more than last October. Now, that being said, though, guess what? Because we collected so much money in tax, <laughs> it's actually the, the de deficit, okay, which you have to worry about, is down 24%, which is a total mind blower, okay? But that's how it is. And then if you take all our debt, folks, all the U.S. debt, the bottom line is you're at a 3.05%. That's, that's where we're at. Could you imagine if they, um, I mean, you know, they should have pushed out so many bonds at 0% would be amazing. But 3.5 is better than I thought, actually. Let's go to our man Costa in Boston. Costa, what's going on, brother? How are you doing, Tommy, this afternoon? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing good. A little chilly up here. I, I've been letting you know it's so funny. We're having a big O'Brien reunion this weekend, and so I've been checking it out, and I, and I am so happy that, you know, today it's freezing, folks, but it's going to get 50 uh, on Friday, so <laughs> that's when we're coming yes, in. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Pfizer, right? Yes. 
Where is this going, Tommy, finally? Did you buy it yet? Are you still waiting for that? No, no, no. no. I know. You're waiting for that low. I remember waiting. it. Listen, man, that's you got to wait for that low, but you're getting right next to it. It's high, it's high. Listen, man, it's hard to comprehend because I remember the last time you called and it's like, man, are you really going to this low? And it is. You know, we're at the 29.04, that 24.42 wants to get hit, man, which is a mind blower, man, particularly, you know, because, you know, not all these drug companies, but these drug companies have been on fire with, you know, the Ozempic and... You know, just other, you know, cancer treating drugs that they're coming up with. So not quite sure what the problem is with Pfizer, but I would just let it stay there because you need a good rejection. What, what you need is this. I wouldn't buy it on just the rejection of lower price cost. The reason being is that this has been such a downdraft. So you'd let it reject lower price if that's what it's going to do. Then, you know, you're probably going to have to wait maybe three, four weeks. You need a sign of strength after that. Then you buy the retracement. Because that would show that there's larger institutions that are coming in at that point. You know, you can see when you're looking at my chart, though, there is, you know, this is traded here twice, and both times, you know, the first time going all the way back to, what, that's 2017, we traded there, and then you had a streak going from the 24 up to the 44, then you came back down to the 24, and then the last one was a big one. You know, we went from 24 all the way up to the 60 bucks. So I just let it get there first, man. Okay, Tommy. Okay, you have a great one, safe one, and stay Thank warm, you. brother. Take care. Okay, man. Thanks so much. The uh, so let's go look at this dollar because the dollar DXY. This baby, you know, it's in the higher range right now. It's not going to take much for it to get in the lower range again. Um, you know, we'll see. Yeah, you're only 565 is the lower range. And right now you're at 623. That's the, the 637. That's the last three numbers. That's what I'm giving you. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rose. We're going to be talking markets out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 67. NASDAQ uh, down 8. S&P's flat. We're coming right back.